and this is a Nexus Special, Episode 11, Start Making Holes, on Monday, August 13th, 2012. So you know that act at the Nexus show? You know, you know that show? We have 37 episodes of that show. We do, one, we do one every week. But we try to keep things interesting by having guests. Yes, and they keep us so occupied. Well, we need to have guests to keep the show interesting. We Normally we have news, but some weeks there are less news stories to go on so we need guests to keep it interesting yeah i mean you know how it's hard tracking all the tech news because you have to always be checking your um reads and everything else but it's always harder finding the reads of your guests like are they actually going to be in town are they actually going to be here right are they actually going to be on the show that's going to take place in an hour right well anyway no. uh guests are important we need we need more guests we'll talk more about guests later but i just thought i should reiterate that we haven't had enough guests and we need more guests Mm-hmm. Anyway, so you know the universe show that we other the other one we did. Yeah. Well, so that that's jumped up from episode fifteen from when we left it at episode nine. Wow. Yeah. So. Oh, and by the way, the guy who was hosting that show he wasn't here for a month and a half. So. We actually did three of those, didn't we? Yeah. So. And, so he's done three shows since last quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, that's. So, he did three shows in an entire and we, quarter. We, we we jumped more, so I'll tell you about that in a second. So, so uh, while Sam Eberts, the the host of the Universe, the mm-hmm. show that we all love dearly, yeah. while he has returned, unfortunately, school will be starting again. And uh, absolutely, have more things to talk about. And by more, I mean less, because he won't be on as much. I suspect. I, I disagree. We'll see. We'll see. And anyway, he'll be enticed to be at a computer more often when he's in school. With faster internet, I might add. Yeah. That. Well, let me let me tell you about some statistics. Now, of course, all of these stats are based on the last 90 days. Uh, so that's since May, mid-May. Um, and so that so for, for further reference, we've been uh, recording now for 270 days or so. Do you know how many days, days that it really is? No. That's a really, really long time. How long? That's about 270 days. Wow. Or what I like to call... Three quarters of a year. Just go from how many hours? I'm um, good. So you must, you might also notice that we're we're better at doing this. So we've been recording better. We've been recording more frequently. We're louder, but we're not like breaking the audio. We talk better. We're Just more comfortable. Just the channel of the audio. That is a board problem. That's not my problem. Uh, so let's talk about at the Nexus. You know the show that we all like more than mm-hmm. anything else. Yeah. Yeah. The best show in the universe. One might say. I would agree with that. <laughs> so we've had 37 episodes since launch. That's a lot of episodes. Now, I think the more interesting statistic here is that we've had 12 episodes since the quarter began. Okay. So that that's uh, that's great. Mm-hmm. Now, now, of course, in three months, which is how many months there are in 90 days, there would be four a month. So 12 is the actual number that we should go for every month. So, so we got all our shows. We got all the shows that we really needed in. Um, so I, I, I'm very pleased with that kind of progress. So what kind of progress do you think, what what do you think it would take for the universe to meet this standard? Well, since the last, uh, quarter, or since this quarter began, quarter three, he, Sam had only, well, the universe only had six additional shows. So three of us were us making fun of it. Yeah. So I don't really, I really don't know. He has a total of 15 right now. So it is unfortunate, but you know. but I guess they're fifteen really good shows. So it's okay. Right. So quality over quantity, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, so going back to the Athen Nexus, there's been 133 downloads since the quarter began. Okay. 133. That's not that many when you think about it. But when you think about it in terms of overall downloads, it's 55 percent. So uh, this show does bring the majority of the traffic, mainly because there's more of them, and I actually advertise these. Um, in the same time, there's been 246 unique views, 357 overall views. The average time people have spent on the pages concerning at the Nexus is about two and a half minutes. Okay. Um, in terms of popularity, which I think is interesting, episode 26 reigns supreme. What do you think? What was that called? Episode 26 was, I believe, my computer looks like a viper, or my server looks like a viper. I'm not sure. I, server. I get confused. But does it look like a viper? Yes. 
Yeah. You haven't done that in a while. No, I forgot all about it. Okay, so episode 32 comes after 30, 25, 34. Those are the top five episodes for at the Nexus. So let's go talk about the universe now. Now, the universe, uh, it's had 15 episodes since launch. But when you think about when launch was, it was in January. And 15, 15 episodes in three quarters of a year. That's, uh, that's a long time. Mm-hmm. So it's not a lot of episodes. Uh, he's done six episodes. or And by he, I mean the universe has somehow attained six additional episodes. Uh, that's pretty good. So there's been 58 downloads in the last 90 days for the universe. That's accounting for 24%. Of the overall downloads, uh, 105 unique views, 153 overall views. Uh, they actually spend more time visitors on his pages than ours, probably because he talks a little bit slower. Yeah, I mean that's makes sense. True. Yeah, so they spend about two hundred two minutes and forty seconds. Now the popularity uh, in in you know most to least uh, the top five would be twelve, nine, ten, fourteen, and thirteen. So his episode twelve, what was that? Do you know? His episode twelve. Did we do his twelve? It's very likely. Uh, the dark side of the sun. That was with Ian Buck. So it, it was m- you and I and Ian Buck. Yeah. So the most popular show on his thing didn't have his Him. thing. Indeed. Well, you know this, do you know what it is? Ian Buck made his family listen to it. Right. Right. So they it's, each it, it's they, not, uh, they each downloaded one over their DSL. I mean dial up. I and their churches because that's how they get all their internet. Right. Well, so. let's talk about overall views because this is actually really interesting. Mm-hmm. Now, we have had 1,185 unique views in the last 90 days. That's a thousand, over a thousand unique views. We've had almost 2,000 overall views, so repeat views. Uh, about two minutes are spent on each page. We've had 644 unique visits. Um, that's good. Uh, so that's great. 31%. Are new visitors, so that means you know obviously the you know other sixty nine percent are returning visitors. So once a person goes here, they kind of come back. Most visits, however, unfortunately, are from Minnesota, four hundred ninety six. Fifteen are from California, notably. Uh, there's no, how many are coming from Microsoft? Is what I want to know. Uh, I don't have that information. Oh. Although uh, there's a staggering number of visits from Covad. But I, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, you wouldn't. Um, is, but, does it really tell you from Kovac? Yes. There, there's... Um, it technically switched to Megapath. It doesn't say that. I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, of the Mega Upload. Well, anyway, is it? It's gone. <laughs> um, there's minor visits from other states, other countries. Mm. Oh, the only two that stand out are obviously in the United States and then within there, Minnesota and California. Uh, not, not too much else going on there. Why don't we talk about search? Let's talk about searches. You know the iPad toxic fume search? Yes, we always talk about that. That was a classic. Now, now, you know how people usually get to our website? We usually tell them to go directly to the-nexus.tv, right? Doesn't work. No, because nobody knows what that means. Because if you don't see a .com in that, you don't know it's an address, right? Yeah. Because I will let you explain it because you look like you have something to say. I don't. Your eyebrows look like. Oh, okay, my eyebrows. Okay. Well, the People problem the, the problem is there's a dash. Mm-hmm. Among other problems, between the dash and the dot .tv, nobody knows what a dot .tv TLE is. So, most people just kind of ignore it when they see it. They don't go there. Uh, most people apparently though type in nexus space TV. So we we do now come up as number four on, on a logged out person's query. That's pretty good. That is pretty good yeah. for Nexus I'm TV. Happy. I'm happy. I am I'm very impressed with that, yeah. and I think eventually we'll be able to own that further. Mm-hmm. We just we need more people to listen. It depends on and if common visit. It depends on if Google rebrands the Nexus Q as the Google TV, Google hey, well, Nexus TV. No, it's going to fall through the cracks of the sphere. One hopes so. Let's talk about Facebook. Okay, I'll, I'll go rogue on this because I don't listen to you when you talk about that crap face thing. Well, so there's been a 47 actions, 23 likes, 24 shares. So that that's good momentum for us. However, that's less than what we had last quarter, so Q2. Uh, this quarter, though, we've, we've had, or obviously we've had half the number of impressions. So the number of times uh, a story or a post has appeared on somebody's wall or something. Uh 
So there's been 81 referrals. So that means 81 times have a linked something, a linked post or whatever, appeared on Facebook and then brought somebody to the website. So 81 isn't too bad. It's, it's 81 people, or at least 81 views extra that we got from through that. Hmm. Uh, last time, we had just begun launching our Twitter and Google Plus accounts. Now we have had them for up, you know, for quite some time. And I am pleased to tell you today, I have now made a fantastic discovery. Whenever we publish a show to the website, mm-hmm. it, the website will now automatically post that it's been published. So I don't even have to remember to do that anymore. Yeah. Sometimes I would forget. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do that to Google Plus yet, but I will be looking for a way shortly. Uh, also, in other site design news, Sam finished the logo bef- you know, after he came back. Yeah, you know, it looks he, good. he had left. So that's nice. It's applied to all locations that we wanted to use it in, except the album art. Not a big deal. So well, do you wanna do you wanna talk about guests? Let's talk about guests. So if anybody still wants to do the twenty to thirty minute tech interview, I'm still willing to do that if you'd like. So we set up interviews now, huh? Well, essentially what I wanted to do was I wanted to have various people that theoretically listen just to you know, say hi and talk about something for, you know, some time. And then, you know, we could have a, a rotating set of people just like instead of having a show dedicated to us with a single host, rotating hosts, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it would keep that section fresh and it would be easier than making a single person, you know, have to provide show notes and stuff every single week. That would be nice. Yeah. Uh, of course... We need people for at the Nexus and the universe uh, for guests. Now, I don't know what Sam has planned for the universe, but the plan for at the Nexus is that we have guests going forward. Yeah, arg, 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 arg. Yeah, guests are really important. We yes, they are. In, Any guests that understand um, Debian. Uh, it's unlikely that would happen. One of the things we like guests to do is we, we, we don't need uh, specific, like, technological abilities, but we need you to do very, very minor things. We need you to have a Twitter, for Google+, Plus, a website, mm-hmm. a blog. And we'll help you set one up. I will. And run it for you. I, pretty much. I will do all things above. Uh, just so you know, you made my Twitter. Yes. You took my Twitter picture is the one on your deck. Sam's Twitter picture has been for almost forever the orange one in your basement both your hosts on the show have all had twitters made and run by you partially yeah and sam we both kind of took over our own twitters but we realized time. we were tired that you were posting things for us yeah well if you want me to make some social media for you let me know uh but but furthermore we you need to have some type of existing and active social service going so twitter twitter google plus blog, website, whatever, as long as you have something that's active or reminiscently active. The other thing you need to do is be able to read. So am I allowed on the show? You are granted an exception for now. Okay. As you know, it's quite frequently that uh, my eyes refuse to allow reading. Yo. Okay. Want to see something disgusting? Sure. Okay. Oh. Whoa, it's Gmail Basic. Yeah. In a bad font. So, to to start the basic now, you need to explain to the Google why you can't upgrade your browser. You have to explain like what? Type something in or what? Yeah, like wow. they give you some radio buttons. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's actually a checklist. Yeah, I it's get different it. um, for reasons why you can't upgrade. Because I'm using Ice Weasel right now, mm. and it's you know it's Firefox two. Yes, um, reskinned, mm-hmm. and uh, apparently that's not the most approved browser according to uh, Google. So, in addition to having some social service, you need to be able to read. And by read, what I mean is essentially this: you need to read some of the show notes. Now, you don't have to read them in depth. You don't really have to know anything specifically because that's what I'm here for. What you need to be able to do, though, is to be able to read the headline, and if the headline is inadequate for your for your reading pleasure, you need to have read enough to make it up. Uh, it, it helps if you actually do know some things about what you're reading. You don't have to have necessarily known everything about the whole story, but just some stuff in general. You know, for instance, if you're reading something about a Samsung lawsuit... 
it would help that you knew that there was a lawsuit previously. Wait, wait. What's going on on the street right now? We'll get there. Okay. Uh, other, there, there are some other compelling things that you need to do if you're going to be a guest on the show. And I actually have made a list uh, of that, of, the, the, of those steps so that you can uh, read. So uh, I think that's enough about uh, the guests. But then let's talk about the wiki, since I haven't announced the wiki yet. Yeah. So this is the first public disclosure of the wiki. Earlier this week, I destroyed the FAQ page and replaced it with a beautiful wiki. Yeah, it looks very beautiful. I love the logo. Now, speaking of which, I made this wiki on day one, although I didn't use it because it was evil. It didn't work right until I fixed it earlier this week uh, on Sam's urging. So he does help me get th- some things done. It's just not his show. <sighs> I'm messing with him. So let's talk about some shows. Want to talk about some shows? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's ironic that at the Nexus isn't the most popular show on the network right now. It isn't? No. What so is? so what I've what I've done is I, these these are the final statistics I have. I've aggregated all of, all data. You've aggregated it? Yes. Uh to to show me what the most popular episodes are in the last thirty days. Mm. Uh so next is special number ten, the Mars Curiosity Rover is number one. Number two is when Sam returned. Next is special number nine. Sam is back. At the Nexus number thirty two, hey there, Mitch is number three. Uh, number four is at the Nexus number 34, Internet Explorer. And, of course, number five is at the, ne- at the Nexus number 36, Echo, or Bo Echo right over you. Now, now that that's great because that was last week's show, so that's amazing that it's already in the top five. Mm-hmm. Uh, theoretically, what we'd be going for is the show that each show should at least get into the top five, right? Mm-hmm. That is what we'd want as a developing nation. And by nation, I mean network. Same thing. Not quite. We don't have rights Nexus here. Nexus supremacy. I thought that was the born identity. We'll get that too. Okay. Well, do you have any other statistics you'd like to share? Do you want to talk about like studio equipment or anything that we've added? I'm going to know what you want to talk about future studio equipment. Like I things know. we would like to expand on. Please donate more stuff to us. Yes. That. Because um, we kind of, every every quarter we kind of make a, not plea, but we kind of like say what we plan on doing and the costs involved with it. Do we plan on doing something? Yes. What? We plan to create a master control desk. Don't worry, you're not going to like this, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm listening. Um, basically, you gave me a bad idea. Um, so right now we have some Christmas lights up here. And Ryan has to unplug them and replug them in. Um, Axeman sells these little clip-in switches, and I'm going to just run wires everywhere. And I'm going to make it so just at the desk, you'll have all these little buttons just drilled into the desk. And you Great. can toggle things on and off. Um, your, their lights you'll be able to control by flipping a switch on your desk. The, those so it'll lights. be like a regular control room then. Yes, but they're going to be Sharpie. Like, I'm going to Sharpie on the desk Christmas lights. I and almost spelled Christmas wrong. <laughs> And then there will be a large red button that says do not press. And then when you press it, it's going to yodel. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, no, I don't think we're going to be doing that, but maybe we will. We'll see. But no, we want a soundboard. We'd like a soundboard that... No, we're not saying that this one doesn't work. And we thank Reinhardt a lot for it. Brian Reinhardt is is indeed thanked innumerably. Oh, crap. My time. I was playing Minesweeper, and now I'm in like three minutes. <laughs> wow. Well... I had to make sure the installer included all my games I needed. Anyway, no, we're not saying this board doesn't work, but what we were saying is that we don't Haunted. know if it works right, and we have no way to compare this without another board. It's wrong. Well, okay, so the, this raises a question. So theoretically, Audacity is set to record the stereo. These mics are rated for stereo you know, recording. Everything we know about points to stereo. I only use stereo uh, connectors and adapters and cables for the board. Somehow, though, when I record it, it turns into mono. Anyway, it just du- duplicated on both channels. I died. <laughs> I stepped it on mine. <laughs> okay. That's fine. The face is teary-eyed. But yes, mono. Uh, so uh, we, we'd like to fix that. Yeah, our stereo thing got mono. Now, now the only, aside from the board, we would prefer to sound better rather than worse. Yes, So I agree. additional microphones would be a wonderful treat. 
Uh, it will make us sound better, definitely. Yeah, we'd like three high old PR40s. Yeah, three. But even if we just got one or two, that would be okay. Two would be good. And some nice spider cages and some mounts. I don't even need the spider cages some or the U-bolt from the ceiling. What I would really just prefer is to have a nice microphone. Because, because I am here a lot, and I like to hear myself really well. Well, that's uh, my system. Yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, we have a new recording tool. So a couple yeah. of weeks ago, Sam crashed my computer by loading QuickTime. And um, I had to recover some audio for Sam is Back, that episode. I had to recover that audio from, uh, you know, Doom. Yeah, I was very surprised you were able to do that. I was surprised, too. Thank Python. Uh, oh, by the way, Python 2.7.2. Yes, yes. Not 3. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so this we have a new thing here in the studio. It, it is a personal pocket audio recorder. Uh, so when we're doing a show, a real show, I might add... Uh, I turn the recorder on, and it records the audio for us, in addition for the computer. So if the computer crashes for some reason, if Audacity crashes mid-recording, we still have a source of audio. Uh, it, it might not be the best quality in the long run, but the idea is that if I need to, I would prefer to have any kind of show at any quality rather than no show at no quality. Correct, because we, we were 45 minutes into that show. But wait, right. 45, I mean half hour, because it was only a half hour show, wasn't it? Yeah. We had discussed on many topics. I know. It seemed a lot longer. And, yeah. Yeah. So, that this this new device is really, going to be really helpful for us. Uh, this is just one of many things. Yeah. And it looks pretty cool. It's just, it's just small. It's very so small. So, we could drill, like, a small hole. and Because and... I recently found out something amazing about my truck. My cell phone fits into cassette tape player <laughs> so nicely. It's almost like it was designed to be a cassette tape. I almost are big and old. <laughs> Okay. So do you have So we need a new desk is what I'm getting at. Well, okay, so that actually that will come next quarter. So first quarter next year we'll get a new desk. You're already planning this. I am much further ahead of this than you are. Yeah. Because we're gonna carpet the walls too. Because it's gonna get cold. Remember last year? I remember it was I, cold I, down here. Hey, by the way, I live here. You're wearing a bloody coat. <laughs> That's because it's chilly. You're wearing a fur coat, a synthetic fur coat with a hood hold up. On, hold on. I'm t- okay, we're just going to the. I'm <laughs> tweeting this. Sure, you want to use my tweeting this superior camera? Superior, man, this is nine point two megapixels. No, wait, no, that was the iPad, <laughs> the revolutionary device. No, point nine two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but so it actually I'll... took better pictures than my uh, you know nine megapixel or ten megapixel camera. Yeah, so going back to the wiki really quick. Uh, the Binding! Wiki, um, the wiki has a lot of uh, interesting tidbits. Uh, I, I, if you're bored, I would suggest you go to any of the episode or series entries and look at recurring jokes. Uh, the, um, the, the recurring jokes listed under the universe is the universe. Uh, it's really funny. Um other things, we have our show lineups, and we have a serialized a list of guests that have been on each show. That's really cool. Uh, I, and I agree. If you'd like to contribute to the wiki, if you do listen to any of these shows, you can uh, definitely do that. And, of course, we're looking for more guests, uh, so please ping me if you would like to be a guest on a show. So it's going to tweet, you're a bit chilly, but look how it autocorrect. He is a bit. But, like... Look at the options where you can pick from. Oh, Third yeah, well, of course. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thinking about it. <laughs> uh, so, in other words, if you'd like to follow us on the Twitter, you can find the Nexus at the Nexus TV on the Twitter. You can find us, of course, on Google Plus at the Nexus uh, the dash Nexus TV. I hate that dash. You can find me, of course, Ryan Represad at the uh, Ryan MR on the Twitter and all over the other place. Where can we find you on the internet? You can find me at MatthewPutchell.com Is that it? You don't even use the Twitter anymore? I'll just tweet it. <laughs> where, where can we find you on the Twitter? I don't know. Oh, you. man. It's that's Matt bad. underscore Petrol, that, possibly. That, that is correct. Don't even worry about that. Go to my website. You'll see all my medias. Okay. And uh, their social even. Yeah, all, all social medias. Okay, well, that sounds good. In all directions. In all directions. Have a good one. Have a good one.